2001, I moved to Manhattan with the dreams of being on Broadway. I wanted to sing, I wanted to dance, I wanted to use everything that was in my body that I knew was a song. I knew I had music, I've always had music moving through my body, whatever that meant. And I set my bags down, 2001, right after September 11th, the city was still smoldering, and I went to an audition my very first day, and I booked it. <laughs> I wanna tell you the odds of booking a Broadway show your first day in New York City, and I had a lot of, I had a lot of energy and intention. I didn't have a lot of polished talent, but somebody saw something in me that they took a risk on putting me into this production. And my career started to go like this. It was national tour, and I got my union card, and bigger jobs, and better contracts, and I got a great agent, and I started to do TV and film, and it was incredible. And it was one of those moments where, have you ever seen your dream unfolding? You know, the door's cracking, you're like, this is what I wanted. This is everything I dreamed about. And the energy is palpable. So I booked uh, a production of Carousel at the Kennedy Center in Washington, D.C. Right? I was going to go sing for the president. And it, it was, I, I remember, I was like, I, every morning I'd wake up, I couldn't believe it. Now, around the same time, I started to have this weird pain in my abdomen. Specifically, I started to have pain in my left testicle. Yes, it's 9 a.m., we're going to say the word testicle. And I remember thinking, oh, this is weird, but I'm 23. I'm, I'm 23. I'm Superman. So I left it. I really didn't do anything, and I waited a couple months, and this production is coming up, and there's so many exciting things happening in my life. Well, one morning I wake up, and I can barely stand. I can barely get up off the bed. So I said, you know, I'm going to go to the emergency room. And I went to the emergency room, 